Foreign Minister Bob Carr has declared his support for the decriminalisation of low-level illicit drugs so police can divert their resources elsewhere. But the Attorney-General has already voiced her scepticism. Roy live to Canberra now for the latest. Sky News Chief Political Reporter Kieran Gilbert. Morning, Kieran. Yeah, g'day, Lee. The former New South Wales Premier, now Foreign Minister, agreed to participate in this campaign, this push to uh, rethink drug laws, drug policies in Australia before he became Foreign Minister. But he's standing by his comments. He was on the Nine Networks Today show this morning. I think, I think of a bit of modest decriminalisation, de facto criminalisation at the edges, simply freeing up police to do the things they ought to be doing would be a sensible way of going about it. And, and the medically supervised injecting room, I'm very proud to have sponsored, even though I had reservations back in 1999, but it has saved lives. It saved lives of people who otherwise would have, would have uh, expired in a, a back lane in King's Cross. That's Bob Carr actually on Seven Network Sunrise program this morning. He's been around a few of the networks. He'll be joining us at 10 a.m. this morning here on Sky News. I'll be speaking to Bob Carr about this and the uh, the other issues of the day. Now, the Attorney General Nicola Roxon has responded to this report from the, a group of uh, uh, prominent Australians, including Mr Carr. Now, Nicola Roxon spoke to us on AM Agenda. She's sceptical about this push to relax drug laws. Frankly, personally, I am sceptical. I think we need to be convinced that if you did uh, lessen the regulation in some areas that it would have both a positive impact of reducing the number of people who are taking drugs uh, and, of course, any of the impact it might have on the criminal spiral that people are potentially involved with. Yes, yeah, so uh, respects the right to, of these... Uh, Australians to make their opinions known, but uh, quite clearly from the first law officer of the Commonwealth, Nicola Roxon says there's a fair bit of ground to, ma to make before there's going to be any change in, uh, in the drug laws as far as she sees it. Now, I did ask a Liberal frontbencher, Simon Birmingham, about this issue as well this morning. He too is on AIM Agenda. The Coalition has a track record of always being tough on drugs. It's been a consistent message and frankly it's a message that actually did work while we were in government.